In this video I will make this cheap computer build using QL2X CPU. After building I will test its performance and see if I can make it perform better by tweaking some BIOS settings. The case is a cheap one from AliExpress. It has a tempered glass front panel window, but the side panel is acrylic. This case doesn't really have a good place to mount a 3.5 inch HDD. It, there's only one very awkward place in which it would block the front fans which already are getting little air. The CPU cooler is also from AliExpress. It is copper colored but I don't believe it's really completely copper. I swapped the bright yellow fan for a more color neutral one. I will be using only 2.5 inch drives which there is two mounts for. One is hidden above the power supply and the other is facing the case window. I will be installing a second hand power supply bot locally. This power supply isn't modular. Modular power supply would help very much with this case since it does have very little space in the back for cable management and the back panel is very hard to get in place when there's too much cabling. I will leave the reset button unplugged because I will use the reset button to control the RGB LEDs via an RGB fan controller which I will be plugging this reset button cable to later. After installing the 2.5 inch SSD I will next install the fans which contain RGB lighting. These fans use 6 pin connectors so they can only be used with a specific RGB fan hub which will control all of their RGB lighting. This cheap case is made from very thin metal which bends quite easily and you can see it here when I'm installing the fans. The metal has quite a bit flex to it. After routing the fan cables to the back it's time to install the glass front panel back. You can see here that the fans are very close to the front panel and there is all only a minimal gap. However, they are able to pull some air certainly enough for this CPU and graphics card. First graphics card I installed in this build was this 8 GB variant of RX 480 from Taobao. However, some 8 GB RX 480 models, including this one apparently, cause a weird and QL2X CPU specific problem. 
where they just start randomly freezing the whole computer at some point. I ended up replacing this card with a reference model XFX 8GB RX480 so identical card but the reference edition for some reason this seems to be the only 8GB RX480 that seems to work with QL2X without these strange sudden freezes. This is the fan controller for the RGB LED fans. It takes a Molex power connector and it can be controlled with the reset button of the computer by plugging the cable in or it can be controlled more effectively with an with a remote control. The fan controller itself has some LEDs too and RGB strips could be connected to it. The side panel was very difficult to get properly on since all cables are tucked in the back and uh, what makes it more difficult is that it the side panel is held down by these metallic tabs or hooks which are very small and fragile and bend easily like the rest of the case. In the video the side panel isn't still correctly on. It took many tries to close it correctly. After closing down both of the side panels I tested the computer and it powered on without problems the first time and also the LED lights seem to work exactly like intended and they work with the remote control that comes with the RGB hub as well as using the reset button to change the lighting effects. I think the case looks okay, it's just that the side panel is acrylic so it will scratch very easily and it's actually very thin acrylic panel so you have to be rather careful with it. Next to test the performance of this CPU and I mainly test the performance of the CPU because the GPU is a RX 480 so that has quite known performance uh, level. To test the CPU I will use BeamNG drive game and a custom scenario within it which is supposed to require quite much CPU performance and uh, these are run on low graphical settings so that the CPU would be the limiting factor here with the stock settings and before tweaking anything in the BIOS we are getting around 35 to sometimes all the way up to 
50s numbers of FPS. At the stock settings, the CPU is running at 2.7, but sometimes it boosts up to 3.2 GHz. I set a BCLK hour clock of 3.8 and I also upped the memory speed a little bit. Even with these two simple changes, the performance took a very good boost and the FPS hovered around 70, sometimes dipping a bit lower, but it is very clearly better than running at stock clock speeds. Upping the clock speeds from this, however, doesn't help since it will throttle. I have some other videos about these QL2X CPUs and other BGA to LGA adapted CPUs. I will link to a playlist which has all of these if you're interested.